Good morning, fishing girls. We are out here at the beach, getting ready to head out to the beach. I'm meeting a couple of friends and we're going to try fishing this morning. We don't know what we're going to catch, but we're going to be targeting some bigger species with cut bait. We're also going to be uh, seeing if there's any pompano around or whiting. So let's get out to the beach. I'm so pumped because I got my friends here. This is what Fishing Girl is all about, getting together, not having to fish alone. So if you can see in the background, I got Tira, you can wave. I've got Karen down there. <laughs> so we're gonna have some so much fun fishing together. Oh, this one? This one? Oh, that one. So in case you missed the fun, I was having everyone wave and my line got completely like there was something was seriously on that line and as soon as I started pulling it in it broke, broke my whole rig off basically so uh, but I've re-rigged with the same exact thing that I had out there before and we're going to see what happens. So one very important thing when it comes to reeling fish in and being able to catch a fish is being able to tell when you have a fish on your line as opposed to when the waves are just moving your line and making your rod tip bend a little bit. So if you can see, I'm gonna scoot back here. We've got, we've got some friends out here fishing with me today and we've got a bunch of lines out. We've got a lot of poles in, in the water. You're going to see some of these now. It's not as bad right here. We're, let me turn this around a little bit. The area that we're fishing in is it's kind of like a little pocket, a little hole in front of this sandbar. So we don't have very intense waves right now here on this beach. We're at a low impact beach already. And so we're just got this like real calm, not, not super calm, but there's not a lot of wave action right here in front of us. There's some, but what you're gonna see is your rod tip, when the waves are coming in, when the, when the undercurrent is pulling on the line and on your lure under the water, you're gonna see more of like a rhythmic bending down and pulling back. It might even snap back a little bit, but just keep looking at it because it's gonna be very, it's going to be in a pattern. It's going to be steady, like it's just doing this constantly. Now, when you see it bouncing after the wave has already passed, or it's like being pulled very aggressively, bending over and, and shaking like that, that's when you know you have a fish on the line. We have an example. Just a few minutes ago, I was recording and waving to my friends and I thought they were just waving back and they were pointing at my line because something was really pulling at it really hard and when I started reeling it in uh, it actually like cut my whole line off whatever it was it was so big so um, yeah so I had actually missed seeing the action on my line it was actually being pulled so hard that it was just consistently bent over when I was looking at it, it was just, it was just bent. And this is a very sensitive rod. So if you have a rod that's very sensitive, um, be aware of if something is pulling on it, it's, it's gonna bend a lot, so. But one thing you can do, and I'm gonna walk over and show you on this, uh, one of these rods here. One thing you can do to see if you have, sometimes it's hard to tell if you have a fish on the line or not. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is, what I do is hold the line above the, um, the reel, because if you don't, you're gonna cause your reel to kind of spool up and get all messed up. So you're kind of holding that to keep the tension on the line that's connected to the reel, but then pull down, pull down on the line coming out of the rod and that will if you feel something tugging when you do that then you know you have a fish compared to just the wave action moving it um, 
So I've done that before and even doing that once in a while is good because if there's fish around, they'll see the movement of your lure being pulled in the water and that might attract them to the lure. Whereas before they might just have been swimming past it because they didn't notice it. On this rod here, I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna hold this and then up here I'm gonna pull this line down so that it's, I can get a good feel. There's no fish on this line. I don't feel anything tugging. I just feel like kind of waves pulling it a bit. So those are a few tips for being able to tell when you've got a fish on the line as opposed to just when the waves are rolling in. So something I like to do when I come out here to the beach, if you're a part of a group, a fishing group, whether it's on Facebook or another group, it's kind of nice for the other people in the group to get a live idea of what's going on on the water, what the water temperature is like, what the waves look like, if you've been catching anything, um, because they might be trying to make the decision of do they want to come out and fish or not. So your little report might be helpful to other people. So I'm just going to stay on while I'm doing my little, I'm going to go live this time in uh, the Facebook group. I'm part of the Broken Reel 23 Northeast Florida Surf Fishing uh, group. It's, it's a long title, but we love it. Anyways, so, um, but what I do is I check the water temperature first. I look at the waves. I look at Magic Seaweed or another app to see um, we are in incoming tide. It's 82 degree water temperature. Um, yeah. So that's what I look at and then I'll go live. So that's all I do when I go live, tell a little report. Usually it's just a video because live, if you don't have a good signal, it doesn't work too well. And on the beach um, in the middle of nowhere sometimes, you just don't have that great of a signal. So, uh, but it's really, really helpful when you can share your experience, what you're seeing live and what's happening right now on the beach so other people can decide if they wanna come out too. So my line went down. I think my sand spike just wasn't set well enough, which I don't understand because either that or there's something on here. So we'll see. There's some kind of bait stealer out here. I don't know if it's catfish or what. Yeah, something's stealing our baits. <laughs> this is a good lesson for what you do when your rod gets pulled down into the water, whether it was because of a fish or whether it was because of waves or your, maybe your sand spike wasn't set well enough. But I always carry, this isn't the best solution. So this is, this is a, something to help in the moment. So I always carry a bottle of water with me. Just, it's usually the ones that have been sitting in the car for a while and they taste like plastic. That's okay, because you're not gonna drink it. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna dump it over the reel. I also dump it over the, um, the guides, over these guides. If I have enough water to put it over each one, because you don't want the salt water to start corroding your rod, and especially your reel. So I use as much of it as I can on the reel. Now, most people say that they will go home and they will just dunk this whole reel and put it in a bucket of water for a few days just to make sure that any sand or salt water that was in there um, from it falling in the water is okay now. So packing up to leave and I didn't catch anything today. I had that big bite that took my whole line right when we first started. But after that, it was pretty much dead. Um, Karen caught a couple of catfish, and uh, I think that was about it. But we're packing up, getting ready to go home. But this is the reality of fishing. That's why we call it fishing, we don't call it catching. You hear a lot of people say that. 
but not every day you come out are you going to catch fish but the important thing is that you're having fun it's relaxing here at the beach made i uh, was able to meet finally my friend tira face to face and got to fish with two friends so it's been a win-win for me today it's been so much fun and if you enjoyed this content go ahead and push that like push that subscribe and if you haven't checked out my website yet go to www.fishandgirlflorida.com starting in august i'm booking now for surf fishing charters and i would love to come out and teach you on the beach and show you a few things help you get educated a little bit more about how to catch fish and how to have a great time on the beach with surf fishing so until next time we'll see you fishing girl